Welcome to the Parts Functions mini lecture. My name is Dylan Walls and I'm going to teach you the cost of the modules and equipment. Now please turn to page 19 because you will need to write this down. We're going to start off with the modules. The first module is the docking module. It costs 400 million and is used to connect the modules together. For every two modules you need a docking module. This is because without the docking module the space station is not stable. This is called a spaghetti space station. This module is like a hallway in your house. The next module is the crew module. It costs a total of 600 million and it is where the crew lives and stays while in space. This is like your bedroom, kitchen, and bathroom. Now we have the emergency module. It costs a total of 450 million and this is where the crew goes in case of a solar flare. Nowadays we do not need an emergency module because all the modules have one built in. This is like any safe place in your house. Now we move on to the hangar module. This module costs 575 million and is used to store the orbiters and paws. It is also like your garage. Up next is the lab module. This is where the crew does R&D and it costs 750 million. This is like your parents' office. Next we have the power module. It costs 250 million and it supplies the space station with power. For every power module, you need a radiator module. This is like your heater. The radiator module costs 200 million and it is used to cool the space station down. The radiator is like your air conditioner. Lastly, we have the communications module. It costs 900 million and it, is, it allows the space station to communicate to Earth faster. Notice that I said faster because the space station can communicate to Earth, but it's not very fast. This is like your landline. Now we move on to the space equipment. The first item in is the spacesuit. It costs five million and it allows an astronaut to go out into the space and repair the space station. The next item is the MMU. This stands for the Manned Maneuvering Unit. It costs 10 million and it is a jetpack that allows the astronaut to move in space easier. Now we move on to the pod. It costs 125 million and it allows the crew to do work in space without having to put a spacesuit on. In real life, the pod does not exist, but in, it does in SVA. Now we have the orbital satellite. This costs a total of 75 million and it, it orbits Earth. It, we, um. Next, we have the fuel tanks. They cost 8 million and it, it's just extra fuel for the pod. Last but not least, we have the PAM, or the Payload Assistant Module. It costs 45 million and it boosts the satellite into geosynchronous orbit. Now please go to the bottom of the page and please hold all questions to the end. Now we are going to go over the primary reasons to have a space station. The main reason to have a space station is research and development, or R&D. There are six total reasons to have a space station. They are bragging rights, inspiration, sustain and survive, international relations, achievement, and R&D. Now the parts needed for a minimal space station is crew, emergency, hangar, and docking module. Now to have a fully functioning space station, you need a crew, emergency, hangar, lab, power radiator, docking, power radiator, and communications if needed. Now if you have any questions, feel free to ask an instructor, and thank you for listening.